call from my mom. I found a cat and I think it's lined. Can you please take it? He was tiny, like five or six weeks. I adored him probably from the moment that I met him. I brought him home. He stayed in the bathtub probably for like two or three weeks before he finally figured out how to climb out. <laughs> really anxious because he's just this giant animal. He is just like Ophi. He has very little awareness of his size. JD wouldn't look at the cat. He literally would just turn his head and avert his eyes every time we tried to get him to look at the cat. Blinken just didn't really give him a choice. Up until Blinken was probably like four or five months old, I wouldn't let him alone together because I was just so nervous that he would hurt him. Blinken was like super excited, was something new to play with, probably just thought it was a toy. I think if he had eyes and he knew what he was up against, he would not have been so keen to be friends. He just stood there and let Blinken kind of sniff him and he would sniff him back and maybe n nudge him with his nose a little bit, but he really, really let Blinken call the shots. I think he just got it, something clicked. We just started to let him kind of do their thing and stop hovering quite so much and I think that's when it happened. Lincoln would just attack him. He would, I mean, ears, jowls, always with the tail. I think finally JD was like, all right, well, I guess like this is what's going on. I'm gonna play back. He just matched him. As Blinken got older, JD got a little bit rougher. <laughs> Blinken used to get a little nudge with JD's nose and now he just gets a full like sweep of the paw, which would have hurt him before. I'm still surprised to this day when JD jumps up and manages to miss every foot, tail, head. Are you a good puppy? Stay, sit, 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 sit. JD's like, man, whatever, let's just keep playing. Like, never gets mad, never barks, growls, nothing. He's really, really patient. He plays hard with other dogs. Blinken can come up and take a toy directly out of his mouth. JD will take it back with his little front teeth. Oh my God, I'm so proud. I'm amazed and it, like still in shock every day. And actually I'm a little resentful to be honest because obviously he can have some awareness. He just chooses not to have it around me. So I think they were in a really cheesy way perhaps able to kind of like just be there for each other in a way that no other person or animal in the house was able to be. Blinken definitely needed a friend. They make my heart so happy.